Welcome back. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can analyze the data in your Mentimeter presentation using our trends feature. This is a really neat feature that allows you to track your results over time. Let's dive right into it. So I'm gonna start here with a real world example. Every week here at Mentimeter, we invite all our colleagues to join us for a company-wide team meeting. And after each meeting, I will send out a feedback form to all the participants. And it looks like this. I'm using here the scales slide type, and I have the participants rate today's meeting depending on what they thought about the content, our syncing needs, tempo, and so forth. Now, I am using this same feedback form every week. And in between each meeting, I'll make sure to reset the results so I can use the same presentation again. And the reason for this is that all the data from each presentation session will be collected in my presentation. And I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna click present and go down here to more. And this is where I'll be able to see the history of all my sessions that I've had. So we can see here we have the first session. Session two looks like this. Session three and so forth. In order to access the trends, you simply have to click here on show trends, which is right underneath the sessions. I'm going to click on that. And as we can see here, we can now follow the results over time. And I'm able to see here all the sessions and all the ratings that I've gotten for each session. I can also hover over the individual ratings. So for example, content, we can see here that it started out pretty good. It's gone a bit up and down, but it seems to be on an upwards trend. And that seems to follow the line of to what degree the meeting serves our company syncing needs. So if the content is good, people feel that the meeting serves its purpose. And as we can see in this example, the trends allow you to dig deeper into the data of your presentations, both on the uh, individual levels, but also on a global scale. Here I can see that we've gone a bit up and down, but we seem to be stabilizing around eight or nine, which is good. The trends feature is also very useful if you wanna keep track of how your team is doing. And this example here is from a colleague of mine who's a project manager for one of our product teams here at Mentimeter. She uses the same presentation every week to do a retro check-in where her colleagues can rate the various statements here, happy with their performance, the tasks they know to focus on, and so forth. And she will then be able to click more and show the trends and get a high level overview of how her team is doing. And if we dig a bit deeper, we can hover over the lines here and see that motivation is quite high. They also know what to focus on and the tasks were prioritized correctly. An interesting thing that I've spotted here is that there seems to be a correlation between how happy they are with their performance and if they feel negative stress. We can see here that as the stress goes up, the performance goes down and vice versa. You can access trends from all of our account types and it is currently available for the scales slide type. Remember that you need to have at least two sessions in the same presentation. So make sure to click reset the results in between each presentation. I like to click on all slides here just to make sure that we have a clean slate. That's it for today's video. Hopefully you learned something new and feel ready to try out our trends feature. See you next time.